There is a duel underway with two political contenders who are Mormon, both vying for the White House. Their faith has been placed in the spotlight. Faith is now being talked about once again in the race for the White House. A mega church pastor, says Mitt Romney, belongs to a cult. Hey everybody, I'm Dan Joseph with MRC TV. Now, last Tuesday in the New Hampshire primary, more than 50% of the vote went to two candidates who were Mormons. Now, a lot of people think Americans might have a problem voting for Mormons, so we decided to come here to the Capitol and ask people if they would have a problem voting for a Mormon candidate for president. Would you consider voting for a Mormon? No. Would you be willing to vote for a Mormon candidate for president? Sure. You wouldn't have a problem with that at all? No. Would you consider voting for a Mormon? In a heartbeat if he was the right Okay. Person. Would you personally vote for a Mormon for president? Yes. You would? Okay, if that was the right candidate, you'd consider it? Oh, yes. You used to live in Utah. Yes. So you're a Mormon yourself? You belong to the Church yes. of Latter-day Saints? Yes. Do you think that there are a lot of people in this country who wouldn't vote for a candidate just because they were Mormon? Uh, I think it's possible. Do you think that you could vote for a Mormon candidate? Sure. Would you guys consider voting for a Mormon for president? Sure. Why you not? would? You? Yeah. Okay. Would you guys consider voting for a Mormon? Sure. Would you consider voting for a Mormon? I can't see why not. No reason at all? But you'd only vote for, for a Christian. My guess is uh, LDS people would still get a little bit of backlash. Do you think they'll overlook it if they're, you know, like if saying if... The if candidate if of choice uh, for the party, yeah. And you said uh, of the two candidates who are Mormon, you, you prefer Romney? You think? Uh, actually, I like uh, the other one. You like John Huntsman? Yeah. From my understanding, like the Book of Mormon is sort of a separate source of truth for mm -hmm. Mormons, and and I think for a lot of Christians, it's probably not a le a, viewed as a legitimate source of truth okay. compared to the Bible. People are generally afraid of what they don't understand and fully comprehend. If you don't have a solid grasp on what it is, then probably not going to be terribly comfortable with voting for it. We're a predominantly Christian nation. Why do you think people are so suspicious or skeptical? I, I'm not suspicious. I have no idea myself. For one and a half centuries, Mormons have been outside the American mainstream, even as they ascended to the peaks of business and politics. Now Mitt Romney is reaching for the summit. His faith may yet be his undoing, but if he succeeds, a great American taboo will be broken. You hear from the media all the time that, oh, well, Mitt Romney, for instance, will have trouble getting elected because he's a Mormon. People we've talked to today, don't say that at all, and they don't see any any issue with it. The media is driven by leftists and rightists, and everyone else is in the middle. Well, there you go. My understanding of Middle America, evangelical, you know, base to the Republican Party is that uh, they have a certain uh, traditional, whether it's Baptist or other denominations, kind of impression of Christianity's role in politics, and or at least the overlap, whether it's appropriate or not, is there. And uh, I just I, I doubt that they're willing to take on a Mormon candidate when they're really looking for the super conservative evangelicals. Well, what if it's like, say, Mitt Romney versus Barack Obama?